The question which this film shall answer is, in what areas did technology advance more during the course of World War I? After having done some research, I have arrived to the conclusion that the area in which technology advanced the most during World War I was in the military sector, and in this film I am going to prove it to you. It is important to look, to look at it from different perspectives, because in this way we will we will then be able to draw another conclusion, which is, in the two sides, the Allied and the German side, which countries focused on what particular areas within military development of technology. First of all, we need to look at the Allied advancements in technology. In my opinion, a weapon that was a key factor in World War I was a machine gun. With this weapon, the warfare changed and forever and war will never be fought in the same way again. This technological advancement came from the American side. By the outbreak of First World War, the American army had sold many Vickers machine guns to the Allies and by 1916 British and French aircraft were all equipped with it. Furthermore, a weapon that had significant importance during the war were the mines. The British led the way in building mines under the German lines and packing them with explosives. In addition, near the end of the war, the British came up with a radical new weapon for war. It unfortunately did not prove its efficiency, its efficiency in that war, but came out to be very useful in wars following the Great War. The weapon I'm talking about is the tank. We are, not going to, we are now going to change position and look at the advancements in technology from the German perspective. During the course of the, war, of the war, the German developed a colossal gun. It was the biggest gun ever seen on earth. It was 100 meters long, weighted up to 30 tons and had to be displaced in rails. This gun make, made a huge impact on the war since it had a 75 mile range. Moreover, the Germans used during the war an aircraft which, which will always be remembered in history for its success. The Red Baron of Manfred von Rich Hafen, also known as Fokker DR-1. This plane was the best aircraft in the skies during the war, which brought a lot of trouble to the Allied avi aviation. The last but not the least advancement of the Germans that I wanted to mention to you is the incontestable U-boats. This early submarine ex were extremely close from changing the course of the war. Thanks to it, Germany nearly managed to submit Britain to such an unbearable economic state that, would have it, that it would have been forced to drop the war. Now that we have analysed the different situations, we can draw several conclusions. The first one is that Germany seemed to have focused more on developing the war technologies in the sea, not only the U-boats but also the dreadnoughts for example. Why? Maybe because uh, one of its enemies, Britain, was found in Iceland and that the most efficient way of causing harm to it was through the sea. Whereas the Allies seem to have focused more on the infantry to advance their technologies. Why? Because the battles were taking place mostly in France and it was a dispute for territory, therefore the most needed thing was infantry. The other conclusion that we can draw, as I've mentioned at the start, is that the area in technology that has advanced most during World War I was war technology. Why? Be because in times of war, military development is mu much higher because it's very needed. During war, the government is not going to spend money in research researching a new green energy, for example, when its soldiers are in the front fighting against the enemy. To draw to an end, we could say that the medical technology also advanced quite a lot during World War I. Why? Here again because it's needed. Many soldiers came back very badly injured from the front and uh, an increase in medical technology had to be made in order to be able to hire them. P.S. It is probable that if the war had not happened, these technological advances would have probably been made, however, at a much slower pace.